Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn about using web view in JavaFX. Web view you can use to display some web pages on your JavaFX application or even you can use you know your own HTML code to display in the web view. Okay, so it can be a static file which you have created in the HTML and you can uh, you know just uh, call this uh, file and uh, load this HTML file using web view okay so uh, I have this uh, sample project created which is uh, web view and in the application package I have this uh, main dot Java file in which I was calling uh, this main dot fxml file which I have created which is right now blank and I have this uh, main controller dot Java class which is also blank so I will start with this main controller dot Java class first of all I will implement here the initializable interface and then I will uh, just add the unhandled method or unimplemented method which is initialize here and first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a web view uh, control here so I will just write at the rate fxml then private web view and then just give the name to your uh, web views for example web view itself okay and then we are going to declare one more variable which is called web engine so you are going to you know load this web view using web engine so just declare this variable private web engine and just name it for example engine itself and then what you can do is take your uh, engine uh, variable and uh, put it inside your initialize method and then is equal to take your uh, web view variable and then get engine and this is going to uh, you know load the engine for the web view okay and then you can use this engine to load the different type type of uh, web content okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to declare some more method and this will be the button click method to load some pages okay so first button uh, method name i'm going to name it as btn1 and here i will just uh, add action perform event and inside the method what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take this engine variable and then i'm going to call load and here you can provide a string and you can give the uh, url of some website for example https colon slash slash uh, www.google.com and what it's going to do is it's going to load this uh, url on your web view okay in the same way you can uh, declare some more method for example i'm going to declare four button click method and i'm going to name them as button 2 button 3 and button 4 okay now you can uh, also use this web view and engine to perform some javascript task so how you can do it you can just take your engine variable and then you can just call a method called execute script here and it takes the string in which you can perform some javascript task for example i will uh, redirect this page to uh, some other url right something like this so just write in double code window dot location is equal to uh, backslash in the quotes http colon slash slash the web url which you want to open for example some website name then uh, once again forward slash two times and backslash and double quote close and this semicolon something like this okay so this is going to uh, you know redirect this page to this url okay you can also use this uh, engine variable 
to load some HTML content. So you can just call a method called load content here and you can add some HTML code inside this these double quotes. You can also import a HTML file content here and pass it as an argument but for example I will just write this small HTML code here which prints hello world and it's going to uh, print hello world using the HTML code right or otherwise if you want to read load your page what you can do is you can just write engine dot reload okay there are some more interesting method which you can use using this engine for example uh, you can just search for your method which suits your requirement for example get history is one interesting uh, method here and get location get on alert so many method here which you can call so just experiment with these methods and see what suits your requirements right these are just the small examples i'm going to uh, show you how uh, you can work with web view okay so now our code is done so we are going to open our main.fxml file and open with scene builder and uh, just select your anchor pane and then resize your anchor pane so go to the layout here and for example i want to give the pref size of 800 and pref width of uh, 600 right so here what you can do is you can go to the controls and then take web view from here and drag and drop here okay and we are also going to take four uh, buttons so button one button two and button four okay and i'm going to quickly change the text of these button for example this is for loading the page this is for uh, for example executing the java script third is for executing our html code so i will just write html and the fourth button is to reload so i will just write reload okay and then select your first button and go to the code here and then select your method which you have defined right so the first method which we have defined here is uh, button one right but first of all what we are going to do is we are going to uh, you know connect our controller with the uh, main.fxml file so go to the controller here and select application dot uh, main controller and then once again select your uh, first button go to the code and then select button one from here then second button and then select button two method from here select third and select button three method from here and button four and select this button four method from here okay and uh, then we are going to uh, just resize our web view and we will go to the property here and in here there is an interesting property in layout which is anchor pane uh, constraints okay and you will see this kinds of uh, square here so just give on the side one and at the top one and at the right hand side also one okay because uh, we have button at the bottom so we are not going to give any value at the bottom here okay and press enter and then save your code and then refresh your uh, web page and one more thing we want to do here is we want to uh, you know add this uh, web view id to the fxml page so just go to fxml and select your uh, web view here and then go to the code and just give this id web view here okay save your code and refresh your uh, web page and then run it so now my uh, application is running and when i press this load button it's going to open this uh, google.com website and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to press the second button and it's going to open this second website here right 
and then I'm going to open the third button which uh, prints hello world using HTML and it prints successfully once again I will go to the load button and press it it opens the google.com and then I press a reload button so it reloads the page okay so JavaScript HTML and then load and reload okay so in this way you can use a web view in uh, JavaFX I hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now